today's video we have got an unboxing and I am super excited that I finally got my hands on one of these. Monstrum's been meaning to send me one of these out but they sell out about as quick as they get them in and uh, this is the Panzer first focal plane 1 to 10 by 24 LPVO. Let's get this thing out of the box. All right, so this has a sleeve over it. Open it up, and you've got the black Monstrum box. We are sealed here. Let me grab a knife. And cut this. All right, and once you get it cut, there is a box inside of a box. This is actually the top, so I'm going to slide this off. And there is... What you're gonna see when you open up the lid all right we got a bag here we got our lens cleaning cloth in here let's see what else we've got so there's our cloth um, we've got a Phillips head screwdriver we've got a little tiny screw in here we'll figure out what that's for in a second and it looks like we've got an Allen wrench our cloth and Got our owner's manual. It's just black and white. You look on the back, and this does come with the Monstrum lifetime warranty. We also had a torque wrench in there and two more screws. We've got our optic. And down here we have got our mount. We've got a rubber band out here. We've got the scope sealed up nice in a bag. Get that out. There's silica gel in there to keep everything dry. And there is our Panzer. Super nice looking op. Alright, this is what I was looking for that I did not see in the box. It just fell out. But this is the uh, throw lever. And we'll get into that here in a second. Alright, before we get into the optic, let's talk about this mount a little bit. So this is a offset mount. It does have three recoil stops integrated into it, which is really nice. It's got three Torx bolts to hold this down. And while we're talking about this mount, these you can mount down on your 1913 rail anywhere between 20 and 25 inch pounds. On your scope rings, you do not want to go over 18 inch pounds. But the new mounts that they are including with the Panzer, which this is super nice looking, this is actually made out of 70, 75 grade aluminum. Alright, so let's get into this Panzer. Like I said, it is a 1 to 10 by 24. It is first focal plane. The body of this scope is made out of 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. And there's a lot of new features with this scope that we're going to get into that they have not had on a lot of the other ones. It does have scope caps. They are spring loaded. The tube on this is a 30 millimeter tube. Now the weight on this is 17 ounces without the mount and our overall length on this is 11 inches. Alright, so let's uh, take our caps off here. Let's look at our turrets in here. Alright, so here's our turrets. As you can see they say half MOA per click on the elevation. And same here on the windage. And the nice thing with these, the overall travel on both the windage and elevation is 70 MOA. Now speaking of these, oh yeah, those are nice. Nice tactile clicks. Very audible. We got some really nice turrets on here. Same right here with the windage. Now the caps on these, they've got some really nice knurling on them, as you can see. 
when I saw this at SHOT Show, that was one of the first things I noticed about it, was how much I like the design of these turret caps. Now let's get back here into this. Same thing here, we got this really nice knurling. Now this does have a built-in throw lever. It's very smooth, it's a little tight, but it's super smooth. It's not gritty at all. You don't feel anything grabbing going from 1 to 10. This is actually really smooth. Now if we take the back scope cap off, we do have an adjustable diopter here on the back. That was all the way out. Turn it all the way in. Same here. Very smooth. Alright, so let's talk about what's different about the Panzer versus the other LPVOs in the Monstrum collection, like the Banshee, the Spectra, the G3 series. One, we talked about this throw lever. So we've got this one here built in, and that little Phillips head screwdriver that came with it. We can actually go in here and remove that, and I can't do that on camera because of YouTube rules. Let me get this off and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got the screw in, throw lever on there, which I really like. I like that better, but you do have the two options. So you can actually thread this off, and if you look, it's straight, and this kind of just slides on that track. Once you get it to the back, you take the Phillips screw and tighten it back down. So you have the option for two different types of throw levers. Now the other cool thing about this this is using a new reticle system, and the reticle system in this is called the CMZ reticle. Let me put this reticle up on screen and show you what the design of the reticle looks like. The other thing Monstrum is doing with the Panzer, this has new glass in it, and the glass in this is called extra low dispersion glass. And this is for superior color contrast and a sharper image. So we're talking all new glass in the Panzer. And the next thing is this also has illumination on it. And I'll show you that here in a second. But you have five green illumination brightness levels. And the same in red. And this is using the new daylight bright reticle. One thing I forgot to mention, this is nitrogen sealed, so we're waterproof, shockproof, fog proof, and this does have multi-coated lenses on it. And I don't know how well I showed you the illumination knob, but you've got that same knurling on this. And uh, the last thing we probably should talk about is the battery. It threads off on the side right here. And this does run on a CR2032 battery. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to show you what the reticle looks like through the scope until we get it out to the range for the review, which will be the next video. But uh, I will pop that reticle back up on the screen again so you can see it. Let me go get this mounted up on the rifle I want to put it on. And I'll bring it back and show you what it looks like. Alright, there it is. I decided to go ahead and mount it up on my 300 blackout rifle. I also have a 300 blackout pistol. But uh, I haven't shot this for quite a while. And yes, this gun's clear, nothing in the chamber, no magazine. I like the way it looks on here. I thought this would be fun. We haven't shot 300 blackout for a while. We'll take some light 110 grain bullets out and shoot them. We'll grab some of the heavy 220 grain bullets and run them through this, but it should be a pretty good time. Now, as far as mounting the scope mount to the rail, I used 23 inch pounds and I used 18 inch pounds exactly here on our scope mounts. Do not go over 18 inch pounds on this. But there it is. Real happy with the way it looks. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to test this out in the next video. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.